So I've been working in this field for over 30 years. I probably started doing optical instruments initially in 81. Uh, before I graduated, uh, I did a co-op program at Waterloo. And I've been working in this field, various aspects of this field ever since. Uh, some laser work, uh, but a lot of imaging, a lot of imaging for machine vision, and a lot of the machine vision side too. Uh, I did a rifle scope. I did what's still considered the world's best tactical rifle scope. I know we have some rifle scope designers here. I did the Spectre for Alcan in 1986, 87. Uh, and uh, I also did the, uh, I'm the guy who put six cameras on the fire phone. So, including a custom pixel, a custom imager, and three custom lenses. So I've been on the industrial side, I've done some infrared work, and a lot of imaging, visible imaging work. So, uh, welcome, and thank you for coming. Um, how to specify a camera. So we're going to go through the evolution of lenses. We're not here to learn how to design a lens, but I want to give you a real appreciation for the challenges a lens designer faces and give you maybe an intuitive understanding of, of what you might get from a lens, what the challenges are, what you might have to trade off, and then we'll talk about specifying a lens. We relate the focal length to the imager size in the field of view, and the person wanted to specify cameras, th that's exactly it, right? What focal length? will give me the field of view or, or vice versa. Uh, we'll talk about spot size, and that's important. A lot of the lenses out there are designed for old cameras with really big um, pixels, and now we have small pixel cameras. If you put the wrong lens on, it's pretty terrible. Talk about depth of focus, depth of field, and also autofocus. We'll talk about sensors, specifying the sensor and the lens so they work well <coughs> together. So the evolution of lenses, we're going to go through what lenses do, the MTF, uh, modulation transfer function, the point spread function. We'll start with the pinhole camera. We don't use those very often, but it's a very useful construct for thinking about even cameras with lenses. We'll talk about singlets, free form lenses, doublets, <coughs> and then the double gauss and the modern lenses that have evolved from that. Side note. When I started my career, I worked at Ernst Lights Canada, which is now Raytheon. I got to work with Dr. Mandler. He was semi-retired, and he invented the, the double gauss. So that's how modern this imaging optics is. I got to work with one of the pioneers in my lifetime. The beginning of my career, end of his, but there was still some overlap. So what does a lens do fundamentally, right? What well, forms an image? This is right out of a textbook. Actually, it's off of Wikipedia because it's Wiki Commons. Don't want to violate any copyrights. Uh, it focuses light, right? If you're a kid and you gave Vance the, the hot treatment, you know this. Burned paper. It'll transform an angle into a displacement. Well, that's the mathematical description of a lens. And a lens takes a Fourier transform. And this will actually be relevant in this course. We're going to come back to that, too. <coughs> so we're going to talk a lot about modulation transfer. So let's start off with an appreciation of what modulation transfer is. 